May the peace be with you. You will take possession of their land. Thank you. Though we are worshiping uh, via online, but may you give the most glor uh, glory to God. We have received salvation after we believe in Jesus Christ. Then our way of life should be different. We need to live by the, uh, by the way of kingdom of God to succeed in this world. The problem is the believers live in the way of the, of the world. That's why they face conflicts in the world. Some may succeed, but they will crumble eventually because of spiritual problem. They have no choice but to follow the, uh, the way of the world. And they become slaves to the world. God wants to restore the kingdom of God in this world. In the midst of uh, slavery, Joseph. He enjoyed the blessing of kingdom of God with success from the beginning. There are people who who were in the uh, fire. But they uh, but they were uh, in no harm. Even a single hair was was burnt. It's Daniel and three friends, and they enjoy the kingdom of God. If you are saved, God wants to use you as a worker for the kingdom of God. And then Matthew 6.33 says, Seek. He says, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. If we focus on, on the work of kingdom of God, then God will give everything that you need. Today's scripture reading, it says, for the kingdom of heaven is like the landowner the owner of the vineyard uh, to meet the workers he went out he gathered uh, the workers early in the morning he promised to give them one denarius Today's scripture reading, third hour, sixth hour, and ninth hour. The third hour in today's uh, hour is nine, nine o'clock. The sixth hour is noon. And ninth hour is three o'clock in the afternoon. And he gathered again uh, workers uh, one hour before the day is done. He gathered people at five o'clock. And after the work, he paid the workers. But he paid equally uh, one denarius to all the workers. A worker who came at five o'clock may thought may have thought that the workers who uh, started working early in the morning got paid more, but all the workers were paid the same. 
and the workers gather from in early in the morning complaining. What would you do? It's, it's nonsense. Then we will be complaining all over. We'll be throwing things. How, how could this be? The Lord says to the complaining workers. Verse 13 says, He answered one of them, Friend, I am not being unfair to you. Didn't you agree to work for, for, for a denarius? And that I, I do it with my own will. And verse 16 says, It says, The last will be first, and the first will be last. What does it say? What does it mean? We may be the last, but we, you, we need to correctly believe in the Word of God. It says more uh, spiritual secret you know and the secret of Christ, regardless of the history of your walk of faith, you will receive the blessing. Then how can we enjoy the blessing of becoming first? First, you need to be the one who met Jesus Christ. What is the reason people cannot receive God's grace? Mankind left God and fell into sins and curses. And have no choice but to be under devil and eternal hell. As a result, uh, they were blind in wisdom and knowledge. And more they uh, more they live, uh, more they are captured in darkness. Their lives are completely captured in darkness. They may seem uh, they may seem uh, to have success, but eventually they they will have emptiness at the end. You will realize that Genesis 1 2, the formless emptiness and darkness are all over in our, play, uh, in our lives. Why is that? Because they were blind in wisdom and knowledge of knowing God. To solve this problem, Christ came. And he opened the way to meet God and way of receiving life and way of victory and make us uh, children of God. He poured the power of the Holy Spirit to have power. He also gave us covenant to receive answers when we pray and we'll, we will become witness. Though the, the uh, evil uh, tries to make us fall, it doesn't matter. The children of God will absolutely have victory in spiritual battle. We will become last if when we don't need when we don't we, when we don't meet God uh, Christ. Uh, oppressed and fell in, fell in sins and curses. But after meeting Christ, Jesus for, forgiven all the sins. He gives answers when we pray. He blesses us so that we have a life of victory like a king. He 
It is okay even if we are lacking in this world or may become the last. The moment we meet Christ, we start a victorious and glorious life. In John 10, 7 says, I am the gate for the sheep. John chapter 10, 9 says, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. And verse 10 says, I have come that they may have life and have it to full. Uh, Colossians 2, 3. It says, In whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. It says, You will live a life like shining treasure. When? The moment you meet Christ, this victorious and glorious lives are guaranteed. In today's scripture reading, there is a worker who were gathered at 5 o'clock. He, he played all day long and he was called one hour before finishing the work. But the owner gave him the, uh, the same wage. He was paid the same as the workers who worked for all day. Why? Because he met the owner. If you meet Jesus Christ, you will enjoy the blessing of becoming first from the last. Have you met Jesus Christ? Then you are the first. There is no first, second, third place in kingdom of God. If you meet Jesus Christ, everyone is first. Whether you met Jesus 10 years ago or today, everyone who met Jesus Christ is the first. There is no second place in kingdom of God. Why? It is because the work of God is perfect. If you met Jesus Christ today, God can give you blessing of 10 years in one day. May you have the blessing of meeting Jesus Christ first. Those who met Jesus Christ are the first, second. Do not finish at meeting Christ, but hold the promise. It means that it's not going to work if you are simply attending church. You need to grab hold of the promise. It is the time of new beginning. It is a, it's a time of being first. Where does the living devil attack? Now, uh, he leaves non-believers alone because he are being worshipped by non-believers. He attacks the believers. Make the believers uh, believing in, in God but not able to enjoy the blessings. That, that's why we see many believers attend church, uh, attending church, church but not able to enjoy blessings. All the blessings are promised in word but they live like a beggar in this world.
and Luke uh, 10.6, it sees a beggar Nazareth. We really need to enjoy the blessing that God has promised to us. That blessing will start as you hold on to the promise today. How much did, how much, uh, did uh, the Lord prepare for those who love him? Acts 1.8 He has promised the, uh, the power of the Holy Spirit. And then he said, we will be a witness in the, in, to the ends of the earth. That's the standard of live, uh, receiving God's blessing. God promised that God will give power so that we, we can be, be a witness to the ends of the earth. And he pr prepared blessing of throne. Because we are lacking, he is with us with power of throne. The all the all our blessings and answers start from the throne. We are, we have already received this blessing, but not aware of these blessings. Now Matthew twenty eight says. It says, all, all authority in heaven and earth has begin, been given to you. In verse 20, He promised that, I, and surely I am with you always to, to the very end of the age. We have already been given the throne, uh, blessing of throne. The throne of heaven uh, transcends time and space, space time and naturally connected to 237 nations. If you hold on to the word given, then you are naturally connected to 237 nations. At this time, may you really grab hold of the uh, word of God. I will explain again. Our answers and uh, blessings start from throne. All the figures uh, were persecuted in the Bible. The first thing they enjoy is the throne. The answers of seven remnants enjoyed is blessing of throne. Because we do not know, we do not enjoy the throne, uh, a blessing of throne. We are, uh, we found the temptation of this world. Even if we uh, live walk of faith, if we don't know the blessing of throne, we we are we are we don't really know the walk of faith. He governs the, our lives in his blessing of uh, blessing of throne. From that throne, he supports strength to us. First Peter three seven says. He is, is seated on the right hand of God. And all the angels and all the powers are obeying to his word. He was uh, ascended to heaven and then seated right hand of God. The angels and the powers and the strengths are obeying to him. The Lord seated on the throne gives and supports all the strength that we need. The Lord governs everything in his throne. And the Lord sitting on the throne governs the church. And Revelation 120, uh, 120 says, He 
and seven stars that you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands in this. He governs the church and all the believers. doesn't end there. He governs the uh, world evangelism as a control tower. In the book of Mark, he went up to the hill, went up to the mountain. He said he is, is sitting on the, on the throne. In verse 20, in Mark uh, 16, 20, And he worked together as a control power as he's sitting on the uh, the Lord is sitting on the throne to govern it. To be connected with the throne, we uh, God needs to be with us. That's why God gave us the Holy Spirit through salvation. Corinthians three sixteen. Don't you know that you you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit lives within you? God to be connected with uh, to the throne. God gave us the Holy Spirit to be connected with the throne. He, he the Holy Spirit does doesn't leave us. Ephesians 4.34 says, Don't make the Holy Spirit worry or concerned. And you are guaranteed to the ends of the ends of the age. He is uh, stamped to the day to the day of salvation. He will not leave us. It will never change. To be connected with uh, uh, to the throne, God gave us ho the Holy Spirit. But this is what happens when you pray, kneel before Lord. He mobilizes the angels and bring all our prayers to Him. It's a re uh, revelation. Eight four. Together with the prayers of saints, went up before God from the angel's hand. Hebrews one fourteen says, "Are not all angels uh, ministering uh, spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation?" Matthew 18.10 says, I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of Father in heaven. We, we do not see angels, but you need to realize that uh, His angels are protecting you. And these angels are seeing the faces of my Father in heaven. Whenever we, we pray, the angels come and bring our prayers to God. And if we look at Revelation 8, 5, those who carry the work are the angels. And he brings the blessings from God and pour down on believers. How does he work? Is Psalm 10... He works through words. It's wherever the words are. He understands the, the meaning of words and relay the meaning to us. It shows the 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 angels are mobilized. When we you need to realize uh, the great works happening when we pray. In the Genesis 28,
and Jacob saw that the angels were going up, up and down through the letters to 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 the heaven. The sky, uh, the skies opened. The uh, the angels, angels have spoken, and then you will witness that that the angels climbing up and down. I say this on Friday uh, service. The time you grab hold of the words and pray, the angels climb up and down to the sky. This is a bless. This is a great blessing that God has given to you, and that's why we have no choice but to grab hold of this great uh, promise. If you really know that this uh, blessing, you have no choice but to pray. Why don't we not grab hold of the word of God? Why do we not pray? Because we do not know what happens when we pray. God, God, make us pray so that we become we can become a witness to the ends of the earth, and make the angels work going up and down. In the letter, as a result, the work of Holy Spirit happened in our fields. Because the work of Holy Spirit is happening, that's why the work of that Satan is crumbling down. It's in the book of Matthew 28. You are fleeing the, uh, the uh, evil spirit through the Spirit of God. When we pray before God, the angels are mobilized. And that's where the Holy Spirit work. And the forces of darkness crumble down. That's when you realize the blessing of connecting to the throne of throne and the world. We call it the spiritual network. May you grab hold of the word. When you grab hold of the word, the mystery of the spiritual network happens. Why did God give us uh, the blessing of spiritual network? To, uh, to use as a watchman to break the uh, break the network of Satan to use as a spiritual doctor to heal this world to uh, use as an ambassador to save this world what's the principle of this uh, spiritual network? It is Christ. Why uh, does God give us this uh, mystery to those who grab hold of the word? Because this word needs to be preached to the ends of the earth. May you hold on to the, this pro, uh, word and restore spiritual blessing. This is already given to you. This a blessing of throne is already given to you. If you receive the blessing of a throne, you will transcend space-time and you will be connected to 237 nations. You will also receive blessing of being connected through throne and heaven and this land. That's the promise of spiritual blessing May you hold on to this promise and pray it this year. This is the promise that God gave you. Today's scripture reading. And uh, the worker who came in ninth hour received one denarius. And also the worker who came at five, uh, five o'clock received the same wage. If uh, the worker who came at five o'clock he only worked for one hour, but he received the same wage. Why? Because the owner of the vineyard promised. If you hold on to the promise, the evidence will absolutely come. Do not finish attending church. But hold on to the word of God as a promise and pray.
And may you experience the blessing of God as a watchman, spiritual doctor, and ambassador. Lastly, third, I said first that you need to meet Jesus Christ. That's second, you need, I said you need to grab hold of promise. Third, you need to become a person to enjoy. And verse 12 today, I'll read. These men who were Uh, can you not understand the uh, uh, complaints of the worker who worked for all day? If you look carefully, uh, they, they borne the, the burden of the work and heat of the day. And the, how can you? And the, he complains, "How can you treat me like the uh, like the others? They are the ones." Who borne the burden of the work and the heat of the day? Don't become a someone to uh, born the burden of the walk of faith, but enjoy. Maybe they, uh, the the born uh, born the heat of day was more difficult for them. They are the ones who suffered all day. And then their lives itself, it's hardship. In grab hold of the promise and enjoy. Remnants enjoy school life. Enjoy the work life. Enjoy the uh, field of business. Do not uh, born the worship hour, but enjoy. If you are sitting in the in, in the, during the worship and born the hour, then you are wasting time. The hour of meeting God, the worship time. If you enjoy the work will have behind is a hundred and thousand fold. He he will await us. What is the core of the worship? We are meeting God through word. And the other uh, in other words, we are connected to throne with words. That's why you need to have the word as your thoughts. Don't think about how you lived so far. Make the words as your thoughts. And do a forum and pray with it. Then the, you will, uh, the, your spiritual eyes will, op will be open. That you will be able to see what's ha what's really happening in your work in your field. The answers will come, and the works of God will appear. That's when you are able to uh, distinguish from the worldly things, and you will you will be able to differentiate the the worldly things, and you will not be shaken by the worldly things and not follow the world. You will be able to uh, live in the way of kingdom of God. There's, uh, there's a worker who came at last. How thankful would he be? He was very thankful that he didn't have any work, but he was called one hour before finishing day. And he he was able to 
uh, make the same benefits. But the worker who worked the whole day borne the, the, the burden of the work and heat of the day. And he was under uh, so much stress. And that he was, he'd rather not work because he had to borne the, the work of the, the day. But the worker who came at last could enjoy or enjoy the same or more blessing than ones who worked for whole day. Uh, those who enjoy will receive the same blessing. Now, what does it mean by enjoy? It doesn't mean that it doesn't mean it's different than having fun. What does it mean to have uh, to enjoy? Make every moment of work as time to be with God. Then you need to find how you can enjoy being with the Lord. It doesn't mean that you're just having fun. The moment of being with God is enjoying. It's what it means by enjoying it. That's why you need to find, uh, so that you need to find a way to be with God. That's how you enjoy it. We already have Christ that God promised. The work of the Holy Spirit is guaranteed to those who believe Jesus Christ. Then what, do, what should we do now? Await for the kingdom of God. Wait for the kingdom of God to come in every field. The gospel of Christ is already given to you. What's been guaranteed to uh, believers is the work of the Holy Spirit. But then what can you do now? Await for the kingdom of God. Await so that the kingdom of God can, will uh, come in every field. As you pray, then the, uh, the kingdom of God will come upon all the fields, will come upon all the incidents and events of your life. And Acts 1 14, blessing of meeting will take place. And that worship will be revived. It's Acts 2.42. Because the worship is revived, wherever people enter, all the fields are revived as well. It is Acts 2, verse 46 to 49. Wherever they are, are in, they preach the gospel. Wait for kingdom of God to come up upon where, wherever you are. Then the meeting of blessing will be will take place. Those who gather in Acts fourteen, they gather without without any condition. That's the blessing of meeting. And then it, it was connected to uh, the blessing of worship. As the worship is revived, it is all connected to uh, the people and the, the work they were in. That's a secret or mystery of enjoying that God is with us. Do not born the walk of faith, but enjoy. That's how the how the, the last become first. I will conclude the word. Today's word is really important. 
these words were spoken to the Israelites. And also, it is uh, at the same time it is uh, spoken to us. The moment we meet Christ, we become first. But do not simply live a walk of faith, but surely hold on to promise. In all worship, you need to hold of the promise. Uh, the, the life without promise is meaningless. It is worthless to God. Enjoy the life of hold, holding on to promise and enjoy, uh, experience work of God. That's the blessing of throne. You hold, you hold on to the promise and the promise is fulfilled in your field. That is blessing of throne. That's how the kingdom of God come. Are we not the ones who, uh, the workers who were called one hour uh, at five o'clock or one hour before finishing the work? We, we are not the ones who can enter into kingdom of God. I, uh, I said First Peter two nine. Uh, we we were called by God's grace. Why? God has called us to bless us as, a, uh, as to evangelize this world. That's why you need to find the mystery of being with God every day. May you receive the blessing of uh, 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 take possession of, of the land this year. God, we give you thanks. Thank you for guiding us that we can meet Christ, uh, Jesus Christ and become first. May we become witness ho who holding on to the promise. May you work so that we can enjoy the blessing of throne in our, in our fields. And may, and may we take possession of the land this year. In Jesus' name.